Well, they asked us parents to come in here today for career day and kind of tell you a little bit about ourselves and maybe maybe end it with a, a motivational speech. I'd ask that y'all kind of bear with me because I'm not really used to speaking in front of a lot of people, to be honest. Now, I noticed a few of you kind of snickered and laughed at my little cap I wear around. This is actually a welding cap and uh, just part of our kind of our uniform. One other thing I brought with me that we also wear is our welding hood. This is what we put on and we look through it so that we don't burn our eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and pass that around. And uh, all I ask is y'all just don't teach it no bad habits. Now, part of the interesting things about my job is I actually work at a power plant. Can y'all say power plant? It's not a bad job, and it, it does pay good money. And uh, as long as you're not afraid of heights and different things like that, it can be a pretty neat career. On another note, I guess I should really uh, uh, focus on maybe giving y'all a motivational speech. Let me get a show of hands of all you boys in here. They've had your mouth washed out with soap and wouldn't mind catching some cooties from these girls. Okay, well, there's a few of you in here. I want y'all to pay extra attention to this motivational speech I'm going to give. Like I said, when they said motivational speech, it kind of set me back. And really, the only thing that popped in my mind was the tortoise and the hare. But it goes like this. There was a tortoise and a hare. And they were both boiler tube welders. And most of the people on the job, they really kind of considered the hare a little cocky and all. So one day, the tortoise got tired of hearing the hare talk a bunch of shit. So he, I'm sorry. So he decided to have a race to see who could weld the most tubes. And the hare, the hare was like, you're home, buddy. There ain't no way in the world you can beat this golden arm. The only bad thing was the tortoise is really kind of a green hand. And the hare, well, the hare had 20 years of experience. So anyway, they set it up, and they got 34 tubes apiece to start welding out. The hare ran through, and he was hauling ass, done by 15, to the tortoise's five. So 10 o'clock rode around, and hell, the hare went on his 15-minute break. I mean, he was kicking back. But the tortoise, he stayed right there in his spot, and he welded all through break and didn't even take a lunch. So when the hare got back up there after lunch, well, he never welds on a full stomach. So he kicked back for a minute and let his food settle. It's kind of like jumping in the water. By the time he got started back, the tortoise, well, he done picked up a five-tube lead. So he, like, had 20 done now. So the hare turned around and noticed... And one thing the tortoise didn't know was the hare had all this built-up aggression from all this transgender shit. See, because actually the hare was a West Texas jackrabbit. And he really didn't understand why people were calling him a hare instead of a rabbit. And the tortoise? Well, that son of a bitch turned out to be a tree-hugging Democrat from somewhere up north. So that West Texas jackrabbit, he kicked that shit down in third gear. He crossed that fucking finish line with 34 tubes done to 20. And they let him go down and brass out early. And what they realized was the hare, or West Texas jackrabbit, as he likes to be called, well, he wasn't really cocky. He was just a bad son of a bitch. So the moral of the story is, you kids just be yourself. And no matter how many times you get your mouth washed out with soap, you can't please everybody. And even if you do get cooties, they got this stuff called penicillin. And don't let anybody try to change who you are. Because if you know you're not a hare, tell them some bitches you're a jackrabbit.